Welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to give you a little behind the scenes at my studio and give you some tips and tricks on how you can make your boudoir studio look amazing and keep it fresh and always ever changing without breaking the bank. My first tip is to get crafty and don't be afraid to DIY. This fireplace behind me here, I used to use it in a different set and it was black. And then to keep things fresh and make things a little bit different, I decided to paint it gold. I just bought some paint on Amazon and I had to do a couple coats to cover the black. But now it's basically a brand new fireplace and I am repurposing it in a different set with completely different things surrounding it and it's gonna give it a completely fresh vibe. Another example of getting crafty is this wall right here. Now, if you can see behind me, there is a collage wall. It looks absolutely great on camera and it looks absolutely great in photos, but this is just printed from my at-home printer. I do have a liquid uh, ink printer, so it is a little bit better quality than most, but you could get these printed at like Costco or Walmart or something like that. And you can buy collage kits on Etsy, where it's pre-done for you for like under $10, or you can go on Pinterest and pick kind of a collage wall vibe that suits your style and suits your space. And my next tip is pertaining to bed setups. Now, one of the easiest ways to change up your bed set for relatively cheap, depending on where you go, is by switching the sheets, comforters, and pillows. Throw pillows you can get at Marshall's Winner's Home Sense, and then you can buy covers for them on Amazon for relatively cheap so you can swap them out. I have about four sets of these satin sheets in four different colors and it allows me to really change up the space and make it look completely different simply by switching the sheets. Another good way to do this is by headboards. Headboards on Amazon are relatively inexpensive or you could take a headboard you currently have, buy some fabric and staple it to the back and that's gonna completely change the look of your bed without having to buy basically a whole new setup. See, so this green creates a completely different vibe than the brown, gives it a little bit more life and a little bit less muted tones, simply by switching sheets. And it doesn't have to be satin sheets, it can be whatever kind of color or pattern or whatever you like to use for your sessions. It can be a duvet cover, it can be pillow, throw pillow covers, like I said, or the headboard is a really good idea as well. My next tip is if you have the space, don't get rid of anything you make or buy because then you'll have it in the future to give it a fresh look and to keep it in the rotation. As an example, I made this beautiful flower display and put it up back in January. It is now end of June when I'm filming this. So I'm a little bit sick of it. I've been shooting in it for six months and I'm ready for a change. But what I'm not gonna do is throw all of these flowers out because in the future, if I do, want something to spice it up, then at least I have it and I'm not needing to go and buy stuff again. So another example is I used to have an egg chair in this corner. I did not get rid of the egg chair, it is just in the storage closet so that eventually I can bring it back out and it'll be like a whole brand new set. And my last tip for you is Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, or Kijiji. Now, everything in this shot, I'm gonna bring it back to this fireplace. Like I said, it used to be black. I got it from someone on Facebook Marketplace probably over a year ago. No, two years ago now. So it is now being completely refreshed, like I said, by me painting it. But originally I think I got it for like $100 on Facebook Marketplace. Same with this chair that I am sitting in. I got this for about $70. I haven't used this in a set in a long time. This goes back to my last tip. Hold on to things even though you don't think you're going to use them again. Because now at least I have this chair that I can reincorporate into a set in the future if I want to. Those are my tips on how to refresh your studio or decorate your studio without breaking the bank. If you want me to do more tips on decor with your studio, let me know down in the comments and I can definitely make that happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I will pop it up on the screen and make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.